We stream. I'm seeing if you. I'm seeing if YouTube's picking it up. Are, can you tell if people can see us? Hold on, I'm about to pull up on. I'm gonna pull YouTube up right now and see. Uh, I don't even know where the premiere went. Oh, there it goes. Boom. Yeah, we up. We up. We up. We up. Excellent. Trying to see. Man, they got ads running already. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, we're live. But it's frozen. What the fuck happened? Is it? Is it frozen? It looks like it's frozen. Uh, let me see. I probably got to refresh this down. All right. That's what it is. It should be good to go now. I'm going to pull up uh, this on this side. All right. We should be good. I think I'm. Oh, no, yeah, we're moving. We're yeah, yeah, we're moving. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Hey, how the sound sound, everybody? Can you see the Fuck can technology. You, can, you see, can you see the group chat? No, I can't see. I can just see you, dog. All right. All right, man. Shit. I don't even know how to fucking start this shit, bro. Um, What's good, bro? What's happening? How are you? you? I'm chilling, man. Tired as fuck, just like you. Yeah, it's been a long day. Yeah, yeah. Hey, YouTube family, Adam and I have been shooting the shit for the past few days. We have already, uh, uh, you know, greeted each other. So this, hey, this ain't, bull, this ain't gonna be no fucking World War Three out here. We just gonna chop it up like some some grown men supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, bro. Thank you for coming in here on uh, Tuesday. Hope you had a good Titty Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, so, yeah, so um, however you want to, however you want to run it, man. Like, so everyone knows watching. I don't know Stevie. Stevie doesn't know me. Uh, we talked briefly, but I don't know what we're about to talk about. I'm, I know the content we're going to talk about, but I don't know what the questions are going to be. So you guys yeah. know how I am. I'm just going to shoot straight how I do. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't really have any like rhyme or reason at all either, bro. But I just feel like. This would be a, a a dope time, dope conversation between you and I, because I think we, I don't know if we really have opposing views, but I guess I'll, I'll start it off by this, because I, I did a reaction to the the racism video you put out a few years ago, and that shit hit me, like, blindsided me, because I, I originally did that, I forgot the, the, the context in which I came across or whatever, man, but... I'm gonna just tell you... You just now did, you just now did the reaction. Yeah, I just now did it, maybe like a week ago or so, you know what I'm saying? And, um... Like I was just I I legitimately was just blindsided by my own reaction to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, like the like your feelings. Yeah, yeah, my feelings. I definitely I, I I saw I could see my feelings overwhelming my rationality about it, and I had to like take a fucking moment. You know what I'm saying? To you know not even settle down, but just to like really um. I ended up watching it, the reaction, I, and I saw it in you. It really it really. I can see that it was really making your brain kind of go in a lot of different directions. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah. bro. And it really, it didn't, I, I really didn't marinate, marinate on it until like a few days after. When, when, and once I saw like, I guess low key, not viral, but becoming a big deal because you go in the comments and motherfuckers just going crazy and shit. And um, the YouTube is really the ones who fucking, you know, put this idea for us to come together and really have some dialogue about it, man. But, um, um, I guess I I saw the comment you posted on the video, you know what I'm saying? You said dope reaction and you know, um I you know, my home the people I grew up with, I, they called me that, I called them that, you know what I'm saying? I served time and and that's just, you know, the way we talked or whatever, bro. So, uh I guess for me and for like everybody else who may not be aware of, like your background and and where that comes from, like could you go into that a little bit more? So, so, uh, as a kid, I was born on the South side of Chicago, moved into the suburbs when I was around like eight, um, started listening to rap just as a lot of young kids do around, you know, my teen years, four, 13, 14. Um, so I became obsessed with rap. Um, and I would say probably around 19 is when I started going to the studio and recording. Now, you're talking about 1999. Yeah. You ain't just going to go in the suburbs, some white kid's house that knows, you know what I'm saying? So 
when I when I recorded, I would have to go into like you know Inglewood, uh, Gage Park, uh, you know the West Side of Chicago, uh, Joliet, you know up on the hill between the first and second projects. That's the first place I ever recorded in my entire life. Yeah. So I didn't come around um, being in the literally just completely surrounded and befriended by and everything I did because I love making music so much was with black people. Mm-hmm. I mean, there was no white kids rapping in the suburbs and a dude had a studio, not, not in 1999. Now these kids, they want to rap. They can go over to, you know, Chad's house and dude knows how to do everything's on Google and YouTube. You can just, you know what I'm saying? But back in the day, it was a little different. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and then you go to the South side of Chicago or, or down on 22nd, 22nd of, uh, Michigan, uh, at the Cotton Club, we were sneaking in there at 20, me and my friend Chuck, you know, fake IDs and getting there and, and doing open mics, you know, and that's, we're the only white guys in, in miles, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's like, <clears throat> fast forward past that, you know what I'm saying? My life happened. I had, I, you know, my kid and, and I ended up doing time and, and shit like that. I caught my first case at 24 for fighting because I, you know, I got a chip on my shoulder. 26, I caught another one, another aggravated battery, great bodily harm to a police officer. And then I finally pled out at 28 and that, you know, I went away and did time. Uh, I did, you know, a total, a little less than two years, which, which to most people who do time, that's like nothing. You could mm-hmm. do that. You know what I'm saying? But in there is what changed my, it changed my life. And I'm glad that I went, uh, it helped me fill in spots that were missing as far as being a man and having confidence and, you know, seeing a whole other side of, yourself and the world you're seeing all different kinds of walks of life in there so you know what i'm saying like that's just what the n-word don't mean shit to me mm-hmm. unless it's used with in with with malice or with ill intent mm-hmm. the n-word the the n-word to me is a greeting is a now listen you, you guys have to take this with context you you have to walk the a road the n-word to me it's not because I'm white it doesn't mean anything. The N-word to me doesn't mean anything unless it's used with ill intent. And and that and then we know what we're talking about. Now we're talking about racist types of shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Other than that, it's just a word. I mean it's 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 how black people greet each other, it's how Hispanic people greet it's like everyone uses this word except oh my god, a white guy said it. And when I did that video, the only people really that were mad were like white people. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's like this. It's like here. I'll 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 I'll, I'll simplify it real quick. So I'll, I'm in the joint. We're playing. We're playing cards. We're playing spades, right? We're just we're just throwing rocks and blows, just knocking people's heads off. My partner may be a, a BD or a GD or a, a vice lord or something. He's my partner's black, right? Mm-hmm. Marcus. Uh, anyways, whatever. We're sitting there. We're cracking these motherfuckers. And you know what I'm saying? He's like. Yeah, we killing these niggas. You know, you know what I'm saying. Like, and we're just speaking. Yeah. This is how we're speaking. Or I'm, I'm, in, I'm in bed. The guys in the day room on a Sunday. We're gambling. No, Cal, where's Cal? Man, come. And and that's just how it was. Yeah. So it's like then I come home, and I, I didn't do like no long stretch, but I I've been around black people so long doing rap, and then befriending all these dudes, and then being in the joint. I'm not gonna come home from there. And then have some white motherfucker that's never even done shit in the black community, been around black people, be like, you can't say that, motherfucker. Shit. I had known gang members that are black calling me that, greeting me by that, right, putting money on their books when I got home. Shut the fuck up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But there's a line. I don't use that word on a daily basis. If, if someone said that word doesn't exist anymore, I'm not going to thank you. Nobody should use the word really, right? Because at the end of the day, you got these dumbass white kids that just ride around the suburbs bumping, you know, gangster music, and they're saying it to their buddies and calling each other the buddies that, but they don't know you go to the wrong neighborhood and say that shit, you're going to get your shit fucking, you know what I'm saying, cracked off. And 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 I understand that too. Um, looking back at that video, I'm glad I did it. Uh, I'm glad that the... 98% of the people that's literally the like to dislike yeah. ratio it's like 98% understood what I was doing um and I, I remember in your video you're like man I can't believe he's so comfortable saying it like it's just nothing it's it, it, that's because it's really I, I'm saying when you live 
and and you and you starve and you eat and you sleep and all your guys around you are that are are, are you're the only white dude even in prison I'm lifting weights these dudes are gorillas in there huge I want to lift with these dudes let's lift you got another man, a black man, a Hispanic man, there's sweat dripping off you in the 100 degree weather in, in, in South Illinois in Jacksonville, dripping into your eyeballs and on your mouth and shit, and you're hitting this weight. What racism, dog? We're yeah. all fucking here. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a motherfucker, if I don't, don't go through my daily life being like, oh, what up, nigga? That's not, that's not real. That's not reality. But when I see my guys from the past, when I see my guys that come over to the house and shit like that, every once in a while, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's like saying, oh, what up, dude? Oh, yeah. what up, bro? It's, it's like a, a endearment. Do I think that white people should be saying that word? No. Am I an exception? I'll say no. But it's just, that's what, what you want me to do, bro? Yeah, yeah, you know you. what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take perspective in, into everything, right? So, I mean, I, I understand that, that situation, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, First of all, I'm gonna put out there. I know that my, me watching that, that was just strictly how I felt about it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just a minute. My opinion doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. You know what I'm saying? Like the way I live I my think life. It does. Well, I mean, I guess because I, I might, I get my. Goal. Listen, you're a black man living in a time where I believe racist, racial things are at the highest. I mean, besides the civil rights movement, racial things are the highest yeah. tension they've yeah. ever been in. So yeah. I, I definitely, but the problem is there's white liberals who think, oh my God, your opinion matters so much. They don't know, but they don't even, yeah. they're like, yeah. they're scared of black people. Yeah, but I, so I they guess, say, I oh guess, yeah, BLM. I guess what I'm saying, well, my, my opinion doesn't matter is, as far as, you know, what this situation can really do, get, get my words right. Like, I'm, I was only thinking about it from my perspective and not the grand scheme of things, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, if I peeled back yeah. and just and just thought about it rationally, like, even though I, I, I understand the message, it's pretty much like racism is, is equal on both sides, right? Like, and it's, only, you, it's only the energy you put into that word. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know that there's people that don't think that black people can be racist. Yeah, yeah. You I, know, I, I, understand you that. That? yeah I understand that, but that, that ain't even what we're talking about, bro. That ain't even what we're talking about, dog. Like, racism comes from everybody ignorance you know what i'm saying racism comes from everybody but the the the, the way i've chosen to live my life now i i don't i don't i try not i i make an effort not to say the word i got i got to the point where i feel like that word is just so divisive nobody should be saying it you know what i'm saying and uh when i watched the reaction i saw how i understand why you're so comfortable with saying it but like in the video and as large of a platform that you have and you looking so comfortable saying it, I think that could be taken in the wrong direction and it makes other motherfuckers more comfortable saying oh. it and it causes more you know, confusion or division. So that goes back to my, that goes back to what I said about, <laughs> that is the one thing that I could look at that video and take back and be like, I hope these young ass, dumb ass kids, these white kids that never left the suburbs, right? They don't think they got a pass to say that. And that is the only thing that is, for me, is the problem. The, because that can get you fucked up. You know what I mean? And I, I'm yeah, not, I, I'm I was, was going to ask you that because for, for how I watched the video, I assume that's just something that you use like routinely in everyday activities and shit. But after talking to you, it was like, it's with your crew. And they that's the understanding yeah. that y'all, you guys have with one another. But like, you know, not depending upon where you go, it don't matter with the circumstances, if you say that shit, say that shit in the wrong community, you may be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I mean, you like, look, you could be with your guys. Say they're all black. I'm with all my guys. They're all black. They're all fucking. They're all gang. Well, now we're fucking old. None of these guys are gangbanging anymore. But let's just say back in the day, I'm with all my guys. I've been around these guys. Let's say five years. It's not like even then I'm saying it every single sentence. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's being said yeah. by me and by them. Yeah. Now take myself away from my guys that I've been around for that long. And let's say I'm over in, I don't know, say like, fuck, uh, 55th and Garfield. That's a whole other group of people. And if I just walk up on them and like, yo, what's up nigga, what's going on? They're like, whoa, who the fuck is this? They don't know me, right? Then it's like, then it's, that's when it becomes a problem. So it's all, bro, it's in very, 
that word to me does not mean shit unless you say it with ill intent. But I don't also I also believe that you don't say the word, correct? No. And if you never greeted me like that, and we say we've been friends since we were kids, dog, and you never greeted me like that, you never spoke to me like this, the word would never be spoken. Yeah. And, and let's say maybe I did say it, and you say, yo, I don't I don't use that word. I don't want you using that word. Oh, yeah, shit, that's easy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, but you know, I, I, I think I'm a bit different as far as, the, like, the, the I don't know, the, the black community. You know, it took me a, a, a while to get to this place, man. That's a very triggering word for for black folks who haven't experienced somebody like you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I think why? I, I, because that's not something you. That's not something you're. A, a, that word is just powerful, bro. I mean, and I, I I went through the comments like, bro, how can you give so much power to a word? It's society that's blinded you, make you feel this what type of way. What do you think the power of that word, though? It's, it's powerful for me because of, of what okay, I... There's a lot of power in that word, but who do you think gives that word power? The person that's... that's oh, it's, it's, it's energy from, from both, depending on the circumstances in which that word is being used. But like like in your case, you're not giving it any power. You've gotten to a point in your life with with that group you with where it's just, you know, day-to-day language. Even I mean, I don't want to say day-to-day like you say it all the time. Like you, you described, like it's not something you say all the time. But... That's just in a typical, typical situation, bro. Like if I'm in Atlanta and I saw something like that, or not even me, because I think I'm different now at this point in my life. But just a, a, your, your average typical group of dudes that hear that shit, they're gonna have issue with it just because of, of it's a lot. It's a lot that goes into it. It's a lot that goes into it, and it makes me, it makes me want well, to let's like, talk about it. It, because I mean. Uh, no, no, because, I'm saying. Yeah, I, wanna, I, know, I, wanna, I know, I know, I know. I know I, okay, so like, um. For me personally, I've I've gone through a lot with that word throughout my life. You know what I'm saying? In a, in a negative in a, in a, light. Yeah, in a negative in a negative light. You know what I'm saying? I'm from now. I'm, I'm, I'm from, are we I'm, talking I'm, using that word degrading you? Yes, yes. In a neg- yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm from I'm from down I'm from Georgia, I'm Atlanta, Georgia. I went to school in Statesboro, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? So, um, down in that area, that's where you know. That's where slave trade happened near Savannah State. So you have a lot of people down there who still look the world that way. And I, I've gone through a lot of experiences where the the N word was used to, you know, make me feel inferior. racially, make me feel racially inferior, slurred. Right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. And just the experiences I know for family and friends, or whatever, like just the, the, like the negative connotation that 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 word has. Like, like despite. It being like a term of endearment or a greeting or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It came from such a negative place, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm gonna be real with you, bro. Like, the, I, I don't say it now because it's so divisive. But when I was when I was like saying it all the time, it was day to day language and shit. Like, I I actually I took pride in the fact that we was like black people were able to turn something so negative into something positive, right? You know what I'm saying? Like the ER, you know what I'm saying? That's where that word came from. We, we don't got to yeah, talk yeah. about that, but we 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 were able to mold that into something that's just spewed out from whomever, however, whenever, you know what I'm saying? And uh, when I see when, when I see someone white say that, it's like I'm taking, because I I, I'm proud of the black community to be able to do that. And then when I see somebody that's white saying that, that, that is, that's one aspect that's like a punch in the gut to me, you know what I'm saying? And and that's it's selfish for me to, to 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 think. Not even it's not it's selfish for me to want. It's selfish for me to try to take ownership of that word because because at the end of the day it's divisive, and and that's one of the reasons why I got to the point where I'm like, bro, this is stupid. Like every like everything that comes from this word is 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 it's negative at the end of the day so like i got to the point where i'm not saying it i don't think anybody should fucking say it like you're gonna be in situations where motherfuckers think they down and they cool and they saying it but they may go to a different different area and it's not you know except it's not taken it's just it's just a a bad situation at the end of the day and uh 
it's 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 too hard for me to like go through all my thoughts about that word. That's why it's, when it's so when I say powerful, when I say powerful, like I I have like different fucking little you know, thoughts I have that's derived from that word, and I do feel fucking whack for giving it so much fucking power. But at the end of the day, it it, it has power over motherfucker dog. It has power over motherfucker, and I know I'm I'm a I'm I'm not how everybody every black man looks at it and shit. But um, I don't know. I hope I get, did somewhat of a good job trying to get my perspective on on that word you know what i'm saying dude yeah i mean I, I totally understand and like what you just said about you know you go here and you and you do that same thing with a different group of people how it's going to be taken for example like that video part of that video was shot in inglewood chicago you know that's you ever heard of inglewood chicago yeah you can't even go in that neighborhood if you're not where that was shot specifically where we were you can't even go in that neighborhood unless you're connected to someone that's in that neighborhood. You yeah. do, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, look, like, we're not sitting here talking about if white people, well, we are, I guess. It's like if white people are allowed to use the N-word or not. Oh, 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 I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. Because at the end of the day, you can say whatever the hell it is you want to say. It's a constitution. I'm, I'm right. always going to say. Freedom, I'm always going to say. Freedom, freedom, you know what I'm saying? But, but, um. Like with the song, like when I was thinking about the creation of the song, like to, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure you knew that I was gonna fucking put some shock waves out when you when you sh- showed when you did a video that exposing that to the world. Like, were you worried at all about the negative response you could have gotten from the black community because you have people that may have felt some type of way from you saying that? <laughs> so you gotta understand me as a as a as a human, and and hopefully we can have a relationship after this, and we can understand each other better. Um. Every single person that I know told me, do not put that shit out there. Yeah. Don't do that, bro. Like, you're, it's going to be, it's going to, and I wasn't like, oh, no, I got it. This is, I got it. I have to put this out. Like, I, like this is going to, I wasn't, in my head, I'm not thinking, do you understand how big this is going to, like, nothing like that. In my head, I'm thinking, wait, what? Like, what do you mean? They were saying the same thing that, that, that some dumbass fucking white motherfucker that's never left the suburbs was saying to me like you can't say that and i'm like so you're telling me (laughs) this is how i've been addressed on and off since i was you know 19 years old Mm -hmm. till now and i'm going to say this in a song and explain white people looked at as white trash or what's up white boy like that to me is disrespectful calling a white dude like a white boy if, if, you know what i'm saying um but or like cracker or honky but none of that shit bothers me that they're just fucking dumb at, they're just words uh so me explaining you know there's a flip side to the to to black and white people we are differently different culturally you, you understand what i'm saying we are we we do have a lot of differences in in our homes and in, in our in our culture in in, in america right mm-hmm. um there's stereotypes of white people, certain kinds of white people, rich white people, poor white people, you know, yuppies, white trash, black people. There's different stereotypes. So what I did was I said, all right, check this out. I've been, I lived in a trailer. I lived in a trap house, recorded my first album. My grandfather's from Kentucky, so I spent every summer in, in, the, in the woods with my grandfather. So I've, I've, I've been to prison. I've been around black people and, and, and have a lot of, you know, done a lot of things in this in the community that no white, none of these white motherfuckers would even go to that neighborhood. So I said, I'm going to just wrap all this up, it, how it is in my head and how I see it and make a song. And. And that song is, is racism. And, and it was not easy to write. It was scary to write because what they I could have been shitted on all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Because like what you're saying, a white dude saying that word, that's fucked. Like in your head, that's crazy. What what, what world are we living in, right? So, so, but that's the world that I lived in. I lived through. I, I lived through these things. You know what I mean? I, I and and I put it out there, and and I mean that song on some reactor channels has over a million views just through them reacting to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, if you go through my whole catalog of a hundred songs. You might have five songs, including racism, that are about, you know, a politics or, or America or something like that. But the rest of my shit is real, just like rap. You know what I mean? Um, you know, there's some country rap elements in there. And then there's some straight, just really hip hop, because that's what I grew up listening to was 
East Coast fucking nineties and early two thousands, just really straight gangster hip hop and rap. Um, and and you know, I don't know. I, at the end of the day, I really don't know how I feel. Uh, how I feel about. Uh, so I'm just thinking about the impact, bro. I'm just thinking about the impact, man. Because I, I think the impact. I think overall the impact was really good. Yeah. I think this. I mean, it made this happen. Yeah. This is a conversation that needs to happen. A black dude with your thoughts and a white dude that has different thoughts talking about each other's thoughts and opinions. Yeah. If more people could do this shit. We wouldn't have all this racial fucking divide because you look different and your skin color is different than mine. Fuck you. We're not talking. That's crazy. That's that's he's black. Fuck him. I'm racist. That's it. He's white. Fuck him. He's a fucking whatever. That's bullshit. But yeah, based on the video, I never for one second thought that you were racist, bro. I thought I really didn't know where what what background you had to, to make you you know create that record and you know put that message out you know what I'm saying but um I, by the way I've never even said any of this stuff that I'm telling you right now never even made videos about this on, on ever I never yeah. even talked about this shit oh yeah never yeah um but, but do you do you do you see where like given your circumstances where you with your homeboys and shit, like do you do you see where you saying that word or anybody saying that word is just divisive as fuck? Because if another white boy sees you saying that shit, regardless of your upbringing and shit, they gonna see that we got the fucking same color. If he can say it, I can fucking say it. You know what I'm saying? That's the only, so that's the only part where I think it's like I said, in the song racism, if if a white kid that never walked that same path that I walk thinks he could just say it and he's not smacked in the fucking head yeah that i i let him down the wrong path because i was thinking that he can say that he didn't live the same life as me do i think it's divisive i think it's divisive if you use it in a racially if like you can say oh what's up motherfucker or like what's up motherfucker i mean you understand what I'm, i mean you understand what i'm saying yeah, so yeah but when is, you, it, is it i think it is but i mean because the only reason you feel comfortable saying is because you lived the life that you live you know what I'm saying? Correct. If, a mother, if another person didn't live the life that you lived and they out here saying that shit, it's, that's causing a divide. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm black. I don't fucking say this shit because because it's divisive, regardless of your circumstances and shit, right? Like, like I, I, I do I do, I do, do take pride from the, from the word, from what I tried to describe before, but at the end of the day, it still came from such a fucking whack-ass, fucked-up place. And I don't want to... I'm going to be real. As real as I could possibly be. Yeah. So many white kids, the, the more white, rap has such a huge white audience, yeah. right? You got these young kids, listen to these fucking rappers that are mostly black. Yeah. They hear that word all the fucking time. They're saying it when they're driving by themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're saying it when they're with their boys, their white guys driving in the, in the suburbs, in the country. Yeah. They're saying this word. These white dudes are all... It's it's not just white dudes. It's white dudes, Puerto Ricans, uh, Mexicans, Asians, black dudes. This word is being used by everybody, right? Yeah. What's different is I said it publicly. This word's being... I mean, it's if, 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 if no one wants to say this word anymore, fuck, cool. Well, I don't need it. Okay. But then let's stop giving the word power. Stop using it in rap songs. Stop using it in everyday language. Stop using the word, and then the word will have no power. Yeah, I, I, I get it. I, understand, I definitely understand that perspective, though. But that that that's 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 a tough situation, bro. Because basically, it's like I know all these white boys or whomever saying this shit, but they're not really saying it in front of the motherfuckers that are going to get upset if they hear them say it. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I say whatever the fuck I want in front of whoever I want. <laughs> I, I, I know, but... I you mean, just got to know your surroundings. I, I, yeah, I, I get that. I get that. But what I'm saying is, like, I know I, I know everybody is saying the words to the song, but the white people that saying that word to those songs are only, are only saying that word in certain settings. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's that's the devices. That's what I said. Bro. I said... 
I said the only difference is I said it publicly. Yeah, I, I know, but the reason why that the, the reason why they're saying that is because they know about the backlash that they possibly could have or the response they possibly could get by saying it in front of everybody. You just did that on the on the main on the the mainest stage you could possibly do it. Mainest, you know what I'm saying? And it's like okay, we say it, we say it, we say it anyway. So why I'm not, why and why why can't I say it? For the world, we said any any damn way, given knowing the fact, you knowing, knowing what it could possibly mean. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm going to take this in my own hands. We say it anyway. I'm just going to say it in front of everybody and just deal with the fucking backlash, knowing that you could be causing like some <laughs> some shit. Like it's like all right, we we can have this shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to say it any fucking way because I say it, I say it here anyway. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I totally I totally understand what you're saying. Uh, in I, I I agree with a lot of what you're saying. I understand everything you're saying. So <laughs> it's like, okay, so now what do we do? It's like, I mean, I, I, I would compare it to like, <laughs> like, um, I don't know. I don't know because it's negative, right? It's negative. You know, it's you know, it's like a, a fuck. Is it up. negative? It that is. word is more. Yeah. That word's more positive. You, I, I don't. I don't. I guarantee I, you. I guarantee you, if you put America as a whole, that word is is used more positive than negative on a daily basis. But look, but this is this is the situ- This is the thing, though, because it's like what I described before. It, cause because it came from a negative place, it was turned into something positive by the black community. And now we yeah. have everybody else saying it from what, 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 <laughs> where it came from. You know what I'm saying? So, Do you think Hispanics should be able to say it? Uh, I don't have an issue with that. Why? But They're not black. I, I know, I know, but it's but when I think about, it, I think about the the. I just think about the history of it, bro, and slave and and. It's it's fucked up. It's so dynamic in nature, right? Because I, I I can see it from the opposite side of the opposite end of the spectrum, right? I'm I'm white. I have nothing to do with what the fuck happened with with whatever the hell back in the day, right? You know, what I'm saying I'm not racist. None of that shit. I want I want the world to be the way it is, and I gotta fucking you know change my life because of of what of what happened to history and shit, man. Uh, so check this out. What do you? I forget. Do you? You said you have you had or you're having a boy? Yeah. Okay. Is your is is so your is your girl black? Nah, she's Russian or Russian Israeli. So she's like yeah, she, she white. Yeah, she white. Yeah, she white. Okay. So right there, right off the bat, the black community frowns. The well, I should say the black community. A lot of black women that I know and grew up around, they fucking think that shit is the worst shit. A black man. That's that's let's just you're in good shape, you're doing your thing, and you're dating you're dating a white chick. Like you sold out basically. That's a thing. Like Kanye West, uh and when yeah, he get on he leave you ask for a that's, white that's, girl. That's not a that's not a good comparison though, bro. That's not uh, no no no. What I'm saying is what I'm saying is that is a thing that is about race. That is a thing in the black community. Just like when Kanye West said, and when he get on he leave your ass for a white girl. Shit like yeah, that. Yeah. That's frowned upon in, in 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 the black community by the by the by the women. Yeah, I know. I, I, it's a lot of stuff frowned upon, but I still don't. I, I don't feel like that's a fair comparison because that doesn't have. I'm saying fuck. you're living in a country where you have a white woman yeah. that you're having a kid with, mm-hmm. and nobody. We're in a day and age now where that's normal. Yeah. That's not. It's yeah. not divisive. It's not. Maybe some people may might look at oh. if you go down south and shit. Okay, so I ask you this: Do you feel like you are the right person to try to normalize the N word? Fuck no! I'm not. The, I'm not. I'm no role model, model or I'm fucking saying, nothing. But, but, that's, but that's essentially what you're doing when you say you know white people are saying this shit anyway. I'm gonna just say it out. No, I didn't say that. white people are saying this shit anyway. So I'm just gonna say it out loud. That's not what I said. What I said is real shit Mm -hmm. every single day there's white people saying it hispanic people saying it asian people saying it black people saying it and i would have to say the majority of when people are using this word Mm -hmm. they're not using it in a negative connotation they're not using it with malice so what i'm saying is so i'm just gonna say fuck it and i'm gonna use the word no i'm you i use the the word in a song because of what i've went through in my life and I told a story 
that it, and the reason why I was comfortable using it is because I've been called that by not just like, oh, I got that one black friend I grew up with. I've been called that by known gang members. That that doesn't mean nothing. Forget the gang shit. Yeah. The, I've been called that by black people. 85% of the prison I was in was black. I've been called that by the whole hood in, when I'm rapping and when I'm doing battle at shit like that, that the, yo, hey, Cal, get over here, this nigga. That's they. We was just like this dude, this guy. I love you. Like that. It's it's so, and it's not a word that I use all the, at, barely, rarely ever, unless I'm with my guys that 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 are, are that that call me that and vice versa. Yeah. And and it's not used like it's like a big thing. Like oh my god, it's a big deal. We gotta be careful with that I, word. Like it's just. Yeah, I get it, bro. I, I, I totally understand your background, your perspective on on it all. I, I I get it all, man. I just, I. Uh... Look at the end of the day. So I made a cu- I made a couple songs using that word. Just using, just it, it just when I was writing, it just that's it just it came out, and mm-hmm. I, it just fuck it. I don't give a shit. Re- I've recorded. I don't care yeah. about that word. Yeah, yeah. I'm not using yeah. it in a racial toned way. Now, since then, because. We are in such a fucked up time in this country, still upside down right now. There's no reason for me, and I've been shut down all over the country on tour. And this dude's racist. This dude's homophobic. This dude's this. This dude's, dude's that. Yeah. These motherfuckers yeah. don't know my story. They don't. They don't. They don't. They just see I look like a hillbilly, and he must be a racist because he's saying these things as well. At the end of the day. If that word's taken away and no one ever uses that word ever again, and 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 I never use that word ever again, I, I don't get that g- good. The thing is, is since those albums, I've used that word. I've never used it again, and I and I, and I said I would never use the word again in rap because I'm just, I am giving these white kids that listen to me, and they might think it is cool to say in front of maybe they go to some black dude they never met and they address him as that. That could end really bad. You know, that can start things that are really bad. So it, I'm from a different era, bro. Same as you. I'm from, I was born in 1980. These kids nowadays, they were born with the Internet. They don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? They're easily influenced. They don't they ain't, they're not worth the shit. Not all. Some a lot. <laughs> but I can see how these young kids, especially these white kids, can take it as, man, that dude's racist or, well, he said it so I can say it. So I just said, you know what? There's no point in me. This my that life of style that I live and 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 doing that it's over anyways. Oh, you know so, what I'm saying? So you say you don't you don't you don't use the uh, the that word in records anymore? No. Oh, all right. I have. I've used it in like three songs. Yeah. 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 I, 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 like I tried my best. Like when I said my perception or my my the way I view it doesn't really matter. I'm thinking about the grand scheme of things, bro. I just want I want us to get to a point where this ain't even a conversation, dog. But the fact that it's never gonna happen. I know, but I but I'm I'm just thinking about my perspective too, bro. Because I'm not even on that fucking like we could say, hey, can't fucking say it type of shit. I just know that when I watched it and I had that emotional ass reaction to it, and that shit still exists for whatever the fucking case may be. I, I know if I had it, it's gonna be plenty of motherfuckers that that have had it and. Um, I, I, I mean, and thinking about where you, where you coming from, I was like, that had to have crossed his mind for him to put that out and, and, and just do it anyway. But I can I see think that. crossed everyone else's mind except for mine when I put that shit out. Yeah. Um, when I hit send, it wasn't a fucking thing in my head, dog. It was me doing me, like what yeah. I what I know. And then it's like you when you say like that that word doesn't mean anything to me. It's just common this, that, and the third. But like when you say that, it's like no, no, no. I said it doesn't mean anything to me unless you're using it with malice, and then it's racist. No, no, but I, no. I got you. I, I I know what you mean. I'm saying, but like just when, I wouldn't even talk. I wasn't talking about the racist connotation too. I'm talking about like just. No, what's up? Term of endearment, whatever. Like that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit doesn't mean anything to me. But there's so many other motherfuckers that if they hear that you saying that shit. That's a gonna great mean, point. It's gonna mean something to them. And I'm thinking. No, no. Yeah, when when he writing that, a, he, a, he had to he had to have been thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Honestly, no, bro. No, I never once thought that this is gonna create a divide when I put that out. Not one time because I was telling both sides. White, pe- what poor people that are white are looked at like this. Black people 
there's poor black people from poverty that I've been around that are looked like at this. And then there's people who get out of there at the end of the song. I say, uh, um, uh, fuck bro. It's been a while <laughs> at the end of the song. I basically say, then you got the black parents who go to, to work and work for the money. They're not crying about a privilege, praying out to God, stop the violence where we live in. Like, you know, but fuck it though. You that and I'm this and and that's what they want. They want us to be doing this instead of doing this. They want us divided. Yeah. So when I wrote that song, there was nothing in my heart that was like, oh man, this is gonna divide people further. It was more like this is gonna show that this dude just said all this shit about white trash people, poor white people, people fucking the, the stereotypes living in a trailer, smoking meth and fucking being a piece of shit. Black people out in the hood with their fucking saggy pants, selling crack at the liquor store, and then the parents that work their ass off to get their kids out of that yeah. shit, praying to stop the fucking violence, and and fuck it though, though, you yeah. know what? Fuck yeah. it, yeah. it's all fucked. Yeah. And, and we're all in the same shit together, and, and we're here. So when I hit that button to send, that was was in my heart, and you know what? Looking online, it worked because that's what everyone else saw is what I felt yeah so when you look at every single fucking reaction to that video it's it's it, they literally did capture what i felt yeah, yeah. you know what i mean and i, I didn't I, feel I, yeah i did too like i said i got the message it's just the presentation had had me shook you know what i'm saying you know what when i look back at it now i wish i would have did that song now because because you gotta figure i went i started rapping when I was 17 18 19 I put on my first uh, CD <laughs> it's funny even saying CD 20 I was in Joliet recording 21 I was in uh, Inglewood recording 22 23 and I stopped rapping and then I got back into rap again you know when I came home from prison got my kid uh, at like 35 when I my social media start started popping off again I'm like yo I wonder if I put out some music if I could push that and people will accept it. So I had to sharpen my sword back up because I hadn't rapped for so long, right? Yeah. So when I listen back to that song now, I'm like, I, I didn't do that song any justice. If I did that song now, I could have really made maybe actually a more powerful impact and presented it better. Yeah. So I don't have like this kind of a thing where yeah, it's like, when, damn. When you describe it to me, it made me think of a question I had too because I got to make sure I got your lyrics right. Because on one instance you were you were like describing the stereotypical white guy from a certain setting and what they're called, you know what I'm saying, honky, redneck, whatever the hell that is, like the negative side of that, right? And then on in the contrast you were describing like the the, the stereotypes. The blue collar, every middle middle America, everyday working person. Yeah, yeah. But I mean you it was more it was a painted picture of, of like the white side in a in a bad way using those the fucking bad terms, you know what I'm saying? Cracker, honky, whatever the fuck. But then the end, the N word, it, it was, it you were describing like a, like the, fuck. Um, you were describing like dude on the block, you know what I'm saying? Liquor stole, baby mama and all this shit, but you used the N word to describe that. And that was like a negative, it was like a negative, like a uh, description of things, you know what I'm saying? But like, the, the n-word in which you were using was not something that is used negative day to day you know what i'm saying so like it was kind of like you the the n-word now with a at the end is a term of endearment but i don't i, I don't i'm not familiar enough with how people fucking throw the the, the white labels around you know what I'm, saying? I'm not around that you know what i'm saying but i don't i don't i don't think that they're like saying what's up honky or what's up you know cracker whatever the fuck i think it's you always that, it's always negative I'm that not, is a thing like people white some white people greet each other like that like yeah, what's up crap yeah, yeah, but, yeah but it's not but it's like it's, it's not is it common you know what i'm saying like it's I common mean, it's, yeah. com it's, com it's common as, as the n-word thrown around just day to day you know what i'm saying that's that's like fucking no the, see, the, see and so and i i hate that we keep saying the n-word because to me the real n-word is i just say that i, I just say that because i I'm, i don't i try not to say it you know what i'm saying that's why i'm throwing it yeah. out but uh so well, no, I think that I think the N word like GGA, yeah. that thing, yeah. that word is used more common than dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like using the or an or I got a. You, I that got you. word. I got you. So my question was that was that's the word you took you chose to use in that song to describe you know certain black people. You know what I'm saying? But you were you were describing you were describing the white people that the way you were using 
those the the fucked up. I describe them in a negative. Yeah, yeah. Connotations yeah, yeah. calling them white trash yeah, and hillbilly yeah, yeah, and yeah, redneck. Yeah, but, but the yeah. way you, but the way you used N word was not the way we use N word negatively. So like the comparisons was kind of kind of different. I no at the end I said fuck it though. You a nigga and I'm just a cracker. They pin us against each. That's what I, that's how I used it. Is that the part you're talking about? Uh, I, I got to go back to the, go through the lyrics because um. Ah, uh, fuck. My bad, dog. My bad. I'm, just I'm, breathe, I'm, dog. Just breathe. No, nah, because I'm trying to, like, go through the lyrics in my head and shit. You know what I'm saying? And oh, so in the from, second from, from, verse, from, from, I don't from, from, think... From a snapshot, from a snapshot, uh, try to remember the song. You were saying, like, I'm from where they call people cracker, honky, this, that, and the third. All right, y'all, y'all call me with... Pretty, pretty much, you put that... You put the, you put that power in that word, and then it, I am what I am. Fuck it, though. And then, uh... Um... Ah oh, fuck! I got to, I got to talk to you behind this, bro. It's too it's too hard for me to get that fucking okay, man. That shit out of my head, bro. I got to go through the video. You know what I'm saying? Trying to tackle what the fuck I'm trying to get across to you. But I I got it though, dog. I got we it. We got dog. time, dog, and I'm pa- I'm patient. You know what I mean? Yeah. We got 1,800 people in this motherfucking uh, <laughs> chat. Yeah, man. They interested, dog. They interested, bro. Um, like I say, at the at the end of the day, bro. Like, <laughs> I got I don't give a. F- it don't matter about what the fuck I think about it personally, dog. I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to use my platform, get us to a point where it ain't, it ain't none of this fucking bullshit going back and forth. And I try to do my best and control my emotions when I, when I, uh, you know, experience shit like that, bro. You put me in a fucking awkward pocket, dog. I did not, I did not, I did not expect to. Yeah, right no, now. no, no. When I did the reaction, dog. When I did the reaction, bro. Hey, like, listen, listen. Okay. So I watched your reaction, and I already said this before. Whoever's tuning in now, hello. Thank you for tuning in to hear us speak to each other civilly uh, and, and, and and have differences and agree. This is – we need more of this. Yeah. So for you to feel the way you – actually, so this is how it, it, it happens. So, so Stevie watched the – did a reaction to, the, to, to my video. When I saw you kind of getting flustered how you are right now a little, right? Kind of yeah. like, I just don't understand why, right? You know what I mean? So when I watched that video, not only did I leave a comment on your reaction, I I also hit you up on Instagram and said, hey, man, if you want to talk, whether it's, you know, just on the phone or whatever, let me know. Yeah. Because I saw that it had you, and it was the first time that I watched a reaction for for that song and seeing that reaction yeah. like what the fuck is going on yeah, right now yeah. and here we are and that's the the beautiful thing and now we're having an open discussion with people in the comments can sit here and say whatever the fuck they want yeah. i don't care bro i don't fucking care um i care that I'm trying look i'm learning too as i get older yeah. you, you know i've made a lot of mistakes in my life Um, this is a part of life and talking to another human being who didn't come from the same walk of life, who doesn't look like you is not the same color as you. More of this needs to happen because all they show you on the media, all they show you on the internet is this doesn't happen. They show me and you doing this, not, Hey man, if I got your back dog, Hey, if I, if I said some shit and that made you feel a certain way or vice versa, because it's not only white people doing it to black people. If if you did something to me and I was like, yo, Stevie, like, hey, man, I love you, bro. But the way you just did that shit, that's whack to me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. little cool. Let's talk it out. Right? Now, there's other instances where there is no talking and you're just going to, well, these motherfuckers don't fight nowadays anyway. So <laughs> I don't know. They just go back and forth on the internet. But, what, you know, to me, back in the day, you have a good fight. It's over. And you guys end up becoming friends and, and, and life goes on. Yeah. Now... Everything is so racially divided, and it's because that is what, and this is not conspiracy, that's what the media shows. They show a white cop shooting a black kid. They show that. They, they, they don't just show it. They highlight it and push it. They want us, they want us to not have, they, they want it like this. They want us pinned against each other. Like I said in the song, they want us divided. They, that's how they, they go and do their fuck shit while we're over here arguing about fucking we're just lost i definitely agree dog i definitely agree bro and i think it's 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 just uh like ignorance 
and like misinformation and people just need to be in, informed about others perspectives and shit bro like i i i, I, caught, I catch myself doing it all the time like not all the time, but typically with situations like this, only looking at it from like the black guy's perspective in the N word. Like, I we, get it. Like, we have, we've gone through all this shit, blah, 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 blah and it's only on that. Check this out, you have, take, you have to take consideration everybody's shit, you know what I'm saying? And like, you came from, from a situation where the N word didn't have any of that power. You never fucking were exposed to that. I, I, and I understand that, bro. I understand that, but um, not even but, but I just, I saw myself like, I, I feel like is anyone I, else watching this? I feel like I feel like I feel like where I'm from, my family, my friends, we would all have that same type of response to that to that song, and I'm and I'm and but realizing that's that's not the majority's that's not gonna be the majority's response to that to that reaction. You know what I'm saying? You just said it, you just oh, said it so yourself. Like the the, the like the dislike ratio was overwhelming. Like the, you actually did some good for society in the grand scheme of things. Cause I understood the fucking message. I understood the message to the T. But it's just that emotional fucking root. Like emotional bow. Like bro, you know what I'm saying? And you just you just you said when you saw my shit, you wasn't even aware. You're like bro, the motherfucker really acted like that to my to my shit. And I'm like yeah, bro. It's gonna be a lot of us fucking um thinking that way, bro. And I would. In order for us to progress and get to a better, better, a better point, better time, dog, I, I, I got to do my due diligence of not allowing that word to have so much fucking power. You know what I'm saying? And like, I, I'm doing my best. I don't, I don't say the word myself. I, I'm, I'm, I've, I've tried to get us, get respect. us, my, we're big my, respect. My, my, my folks, my family, people I fuck with to a better spot where, because you're right, the racial tension is fucking crazy nowadays. Crazy now, I, but I wouldn't even say that, bro. It's the fucking the, the extremists on this side. They got the biggest voice and say the most wildest shit, and they're the most outspoken. So when they come up saying, they give the, the dumbest people, people the biggest, yeah. the biggest. And they come out and they come, they come up here saying all this bullshit, and people fucking think that's fucking fact, and it just. If we need this. This is a good idea. We need shit like this, bro. We need shit like this where people can actually see. You know what I'm saying? So check it the out. Real life, the real shit. So check it out. Just now, you said. Um, you had a hard time take yourself outside of that just looking at it as a black guy, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm very aware also of myself. Like when we started this this interview, however, whatever you want to call this, when we started our, our chat here, mm -hmm. I said the N-word doesn't, the N -word doesn't mean shit to me. Fuck the N-word. I don't give a fuck. Me, I said that knowing that there's people that are right, probably right fucking now in their little, oh my God, it doesn't mean anything to you because you're white. It doesn't mean it because it doesn't affect you. It doesn't mean, fuck off, fuck you, right? Shut, you haven't left the safety of your mom's basement. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're talking to a dude. I'm not going to sit here and be like, no, dog, I live the struggle. I, I I'm, I'm, no. All I'm saying is I grew up in the life I chose to go. It led me to a, a, a big black community around me. I'd done time, not a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to do it my little almost two years, whatever. It just, I see a different point of view as a white man. And I can't, and see, I can't even say this. I can see a point of view from the black point of view looking into but then as a white guy saying that it's like you can't say that you're white you can't say that you know what i'm saying so it's like just like you taking yourself out and looking at it as a black man i take myself out looking as a white man the only difference is when i take myself out looking as a white man as how a black guy looks at it well that's racist you you can't you can never understand how a black person thinks when then when a black dude takes himself out and looks at it as as the white dude it's like oh yeah that, that's that's cool it's it's People makes this such a big fucking deal. And the only big deal to me about this word and about black and white is if you're a racist motherfucker, you're a piece of shit. And, and that's it. That's it. That, that's end of discussion. It's, it's, I, it should be that easy. You're a racist. You're a piece of shit. But what they do, what they're doing now is they're, they're changing the definition of racism. If you're white and you're, and let's just, if you're white, you're, you don't feel sorry for yourself. You don't feel sorry for black people. Uh, and you voted for Trump, you're racist. If you're white and you don't use pronouns and this and that, you're racist. If you're, It's all bullshit. Really, 
a white dude and, and you're a black dude and I'm not gonna ju- I, and people who say I don't see color hey fuck you that's the first thing you see you see that motherfucker the color then you look at how they're dressed then you look at how they present themselves look I don't judge and I say this at every show I don't judge a man on his color I judge them on their fucking character I believe Martin Luther King had a very had a quote I don't I, not verba- verbatim but very close to that and it's true the very simple, simplistic fucking answer to all this, the N-word and this and that, at the end of the day, if you're a racist, you're a fucking racist and you're an asshole. And most people who are racist, I don't even think they're racist. They're just fucking confused and ignorant and weren't raised right. They don't know. You, I guarantee you stick the most racist black dude and the most racist white dude in a room together for months and they have, can't leave that fucking room. I guarantee you they find common, common ground, respect, and some sort of fucking love for each other, dog. And that's not no, no fucking gay fuck shit. That's real life. That's and, and and people are fucked. This this country's fucked. The way the world's going is fucked. More of this needs to happen. I think they need to start sticking people in rooms together and locking them bitches in there until they fucking find a common ground and come out. Period. Yeah, I I, 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 I agree with all that, bro. I agree with all that. Like, I don't and I don't like this situation. Or the racism video, like I said, when I watched it, I never thought any of that racist shit at all from you. You know what I'm saying? You don't give off that vibe at all, man. But like sometimes I, said, I, I I do to people sometimes yeah, though well, because I, I'm not afraid to roast a black dude. I'm not afraid to roast a white dude. But at the roasting the white dude don't matter. You roasted the black dude. You're a racist. You know, know what I'm saying? But like the only the only pushback I give I I have on what you said is that like the just the n word because this was the only thing. The, the topic of, you know, the, the topic of the day. It's like, you know, it, the N-word, if it's not used in a negative way, doesn't mean shit to you. But you, I, you, you have to take in consideration. But it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean shit to other yeah, people. You, know you have to be em- empathetic for, you know, that whatever bullshit that shit has caused people. You know what I'm saying? And then, I pray, I pray for empathy and love and peace and understanding every day. And I'm a work in progress, dog. I'm rough cut. I'm a motherfucking guy that worked blue collar, middle class every day of my life. Yeah. This internet, and then I got thrown into the internet. I don't know how to act sometimes, yeah, know, dog. You got, a, you got a big ass platform, dog. But at the end of the day, like you said, it, I, that was a shock to me. You said you got more. Well, not really, dog, because I, I, I know mo- most of my subs and your subs and how YouTube works. I wouldn't imagine you get a lot of backlash from the black community on YouTube and shit, bro. But, um. I, I, that was still a shock to me that uh, you said that. You know, most of the shit was, the majority of the shit was positive, dog. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just basing it on you know <laughs> how I saw it, bro. And that was that was a crazy experience for me, my boy. And <laughs> but uh, I mean, this is a dope ass conversation, dog. Um, I, 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 I'm, I can say, I'm glad that it happened. I'm not happy that that it made you go actually you know i take that back i'm happy it made you go through your 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 lab library and your, and your rolodex and your and your thoughts and your feelings i'm glad that that happened i'm glad that that happened because if it didn't we wouldn't be sitting here having a conversation and there's people that are in the chat that are of all walks of life watching this and at the end of the day this is what needs to happen even if we left this conversation disagreeing completely at least it happened yeah. you know what i'm saying that's what needs to happen no one got hurt there was no riots no one got shot they're not burning down towns we sat here as a, as a as a white man and as a black man but isn't that sad isn't that fucking sad as a white man and as a black man yeah, you have to say that. yeah how about we sat here as men yeah we sat here as men yeah. what the f- that's there's more problems than just the fuck the end. That's what I'm saying. The N word don't mean shit to me. I just said we sat here as a white man and a black man. That's what the fuck is. we sat here as men. Fuck the bullshit. We sat here as American free men and had a conversation like men. Yep. But we supposed to do that though, bro. We supposed to do that though, dog. You know what I'm saying? Um. That's not what they're teaching. That's not what they're teaching. Yeah. You're right. You're right, bro. That's what we could teach. That's what we're teaching right now. So whoever's watching this, someone just got here. You're, man, you got to see one of my dogs. It's gigantic. 
uh, he's he's a uh, um, you ever heard of Hulk? Yeah, the pit bull. He, yeah, he's his grandson. He's fucking oh, monster. You bought you bought one of Hulk's dogs? Yeah, his grandson. Yeah, yeah. He, he would talk about bands, bands, bands. Twenty twenty grand. But anyways, um, that's it, man. Like I I understand and respect where you're coming from. Um. And I and and I'm an old dinosaur, and I'm living now in a time where society is just changing so fucking fast. And I'm like, yeah. I guess the, the one, 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 so one of the one things I want to get like, to you and whomever's watching, bro. Like, it's it's like uh, I feel I get fucking I don't know fucking crucified for having a fucking emotional response. To that fucking word, you know what I'm saying? That, that there's a lot of fucking. You do you that happens there's a, there's to you? A, there's a lot. Look at the fucking comments, bro. Like I don't give a fuck, but I'm just saying, like that that word has caused a lot of trauma, fucking tension, struggle, whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I, that's not something that I don't think you can identify with. You know what I'm saying? Like no, that, I can't. That 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 part of it. You know what I'm saying? But I understand why it doesn't mean anything to you. But there's a lot of motherfuckers that that means a lot too, and. No, but see, okay, so like when I say that word doesn't mean shit to me, I already know someone can take that fucking clip and just butcher me, right? But why I'm saying it is because because what I just said, everything yeah. else, we're dealing with way bigger shit that we're not talking about because we're over here talking about this, this when, when when really I just called you a black man and myself a white man. That's sad that we're that, but that, that that's sadder to me, that more sad to me than the N word. Yeah. I get it. That's I get why it. I get it. But would you, see, but when you say that though, that's from your perspective. Like you right. think this, but that it's it's still it's a, pretty significant to me. You know what I'm saying? Because, it doesn't. It doesn't just because I think it doesn't yeah, mean it changes yeah, your. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's a bigger issue to me. But I, I uh, I'm used to the fucking black and white shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just that that's life. You know what I'm saying? But just the ah uh, the. It's just it's, we're gonna get through it though. We're gonna get through it, bro. So as long as we <laughs> as long as we got dialogue and we're able to fucking communicate both of our sides of it and have open minds about this shit, man, we 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 gonna be good, bro. We're gonna be good. There's bro. always I I hey, and I and, and I love that man and, and amen to that. I, I listen, as long as humans are roaming this earth, I mean, some of humanity is, is the most ratchet, wretched things that ever will walk on this planet there will always be racism unfortunately that's just how it is if it ain't racist towards muslims it's mexicans if it ain't racist towards mexicans it's blacks it's it's it's, it's just people if it ain't racist shit now it seems like it's not cool to be white anymore you know what i'm saying like motherfuckers are getting roasted you know what i'm saying so it's always, but but it's way different because you're talking about okay, blacks. There was slavery. That was we're probably the there's slavery in was in this country. You know what I'm saying? And there's that's why it's significant because there was this, there was slavery. There was things happening to black people. You know, in the '60s that shouldn't have been happening. There was segregation. There was uh, there was things it's, that it's, more, it's not even because uh, I can only provide my my perspective or my experience with it, bro. Like the history is there. There's a lot of history with everything, bro. But like. My mom had to fucking take me out of school because I had to deal with so much racism when I was a child, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't go to this bathroom or you can't, you, you're too dumb to fucking. So that was recent, that was recent that, in your life. That was in my life, bro. That was in my life being called a fucking monkey. Like, we only good for sports. I, 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 I've gone through all that, bro. So, like, when, when, that's why that shit has so much power to power for me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Personally, and, and, I just, and I have a lot of friends and families that can identify with the same struggle, bro. Like, I understand that the N word you you didn't. It's comfortable for you because your upbringing, but the N word means something entirely different for me from my upbringing and a lot of other motherfuckers, bro. That it, it's just it was all, it was used in a negative way. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 here, look, even if I use it, it, if even if it's a positive way, fuck it. It shouldn't be used. It shouldn't period. be used. Period, bro. Because it just it's just fucked up. It's just fucked up. It came from a bad place. And like like I thought about, I was thinking about what we're gonna talk about when I got you on stream and shit, bro. Like. Like it came from a bad place. I admire the fact that we were able to turn that shit into a positive thing. And I, even though I don't use the fucking word, I still feel the type of way if I see somebody else outside the black community that's fucking saying it. But at the end of the day, that's divisive. So the best thing for everybody to do is just throw the motherfucking word away. 
throw it in the goddamn garbage, and that's gonna fucking alleviate a lot of these goddamn problems. You know what I'm saying? Like, and what? No, I don't think, and not one person walking this earth would lose any sleep over it. Facts. Not black, Facts. not Facts. anyone. Facts. Facts. What are they gonna do? Okay, you can't use that word anymore. Facts, but Great. Hey, Facts, bro, but as long as there's the, the uh, I, and that's a struggle for me. I got to get over that em emotional hump because you said, you said probably 95% of the way that word is used is in a positive light. You know what I'm saying? That's, I know that's a fucking shit in, in, in within me that I got to get over. You know what I'm saying? But trauma is trauma, dog. You know what I'm saying? Trauma is trauma. And that, that's what that, that's why I reacted that way when I saw that shit, bro. And I, I didn't expect it because I'm, I'm old enough. I can, still feel, I can still feel you now. Like, yeah. you're very uh, passionate about, like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I got, I'm not using this word. Yeah, I got it. You're not using this word. Yeah, it's just, it's just, and, you know. But we, like I say, it, this, this was a good ass idea, bro. I'm, I'm glad you, yeah. we, we did this, bro. And like, you, you, you gave me a different perspective on things. You know what I'm saying? I hope it's vice versa. And you know, I think this is good for everybody, bro. Good for yeah, I'm I'm happy I did it. I literally don't really do this as far as interviews or yeah. or, or this, but I want to do a lot more of this. Yeah. And it's not really just just with, oh man, it's got to be black. I like with everyone. It's it's good to have open dialect between people who have differences. Yeah. And and I'm look, That's the only way I'm you still learn. learning. That's the only way you learn. And I'm still learning. And if you're not still learning right now, you're you're an asshole. You should be learning till the day you die. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right. I'm not perfect. Far from it. Never will be. Uh, and I still make mistakes every day. And in the public eye, it's fucked up too. When you when you really fuck up in front of the public eye, you, it's hard to live down. But uh, I'm always gonna say how how I feel. And sometimes it comes off too harsh for people. Yeah. Uh, but I'm glad I was able to maybe articulate myself a little softer or better. Or, or just more true, straight to the point to you. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I, like, like, I, like I said, I didn't think you from that video and from what I've heard from you. I never got any race racist vibes from you at all. But like I said, I did want to like you know understand the background or whatever, and just do this for everybody, bro. Because I think this is the good time for all of this, man. Good time for all of this, bro. So I appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I wish I could re read all the shit people are saying. <laughs> man, you can you can go on. I got the I got the fucking comments live right now, man. Most of the shit I've been seeing is positive, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like they That's just good. Like, they, they respect this shit, bro. That's how it should be, man. There's you have two men speaking. Yeah. Where do they do that at? They don't do that shit anymore. Yeah, bro. They got these little boys out here that that never been around men talking, and those dudes should not have voices. Yeah, dog. Yeah, bro. All right, well, well, shit, man. Um, yeah, they, the, the comments still going crazy, bro. You can pull that shit up. Yeah, you can probably fucking see it, man. But uh, yeah, I just did. I, I was looking at it just now. Yeah, I don't know. anybody Anybody got some questions? Anybody? <laughs> anybody got some questions for Adam on live since he's here? They're gonna be like, man, I'm not. <laughs> people don't want to fucking put their faces nowhere and get nothing. Let's try it. Let's try it. What? What? Do you pull them in? No, I got them. I got. Oh, the you just... feed, I got the feed up in front of me right now. Somebody there said, is a lot of good shit in here. There's somebody, a lot of good shit in somebody, here. Somebody said they got pop tarts. I don't know what the fuck that means. Oh, bro, <laughs> it's just some shit. It's uh, I talk about fucking moms, and and they better leave some pop tarts out for me before I leave. <laughs> where I ain't coming. So like my like people that follow me and stuff, I always say in like crazy ass shit like that. Yeah. So if you see anything like pop tarts or fucking moms or fucking shit like. Goofy shit. That's just from my like Snapchat stories and Instagram and all types of shit. Yeah. Um, a lot of people, yeah, man. A lot of people look like they they like this. This is really cool, man. Stevie it was really nice to sit and talk with you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. You too, man. But I I, I expected this, bro. I ain't thinking he fucking anything toxic was gonna come from this, man. Like I wasn't about to come in here on some crazy shit, bro. Like you know. The best thing is we both came in open-minded and not yeah, defensive. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I said some stuff that might rub people the wrong way that are, are sensitive. And uh, uh, if I did, I mean, that's just how I am. And, and, and I'm going through life just like everyone else, man. I'm learning. My, I, my pace is at a slower, slower pace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, shit, that's what's up, dog. I'm going to fucking hold you up too much longer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fucking uh, get with you. Maybe we could do some other shit, dog. Yeah, anytime, yeah. and 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 you're out in, on the West Coast, yeah, so I'm on San Diego. Uh, that's I, I've heard nothing but uh, beautiful things about San Diego. I I do not like California very much, but 
I heard San Diego is the shit, and my buddy Wes Watson, you ever heard of him? No. Wes Watson? No. He's this uh, he, he's this guy on Instagram, YouTube. He, he did, like, tons of time, and he's out, and he he just does. He's a crazy workout, dude. Maybe us three can go get a get a session in. All right, I'll look him up, bro. Yeah, dude, look him up. That yeah. motherfucker's intense, yeah. stuff. Yeah. He was locked up, too, for, like, 10 years. Yeah. Oh, here we yeah, go. So he got a question. Real... All right, let's get it. Who's, who's, who's your top five? Bro, come on. This is... It, I can't answer this nowadays because you guys. Fuck with everybody too hard. else. Fuck with everybody else. Think the top, right up top of your head. Your top five, dog. It give me a, uh, give me a good idea of like where you. Well, I can say I can tell you my favorite. Yeah, go ahead. My top five favorite rappers of all time. Yeah. Uh, Eminem is the best lyrical rapper of all time. He's not my favorite rapper. Yeah. Uh, um, my favorite shit here. I can just show you better than I can tell you. <laughs> My favorite, right, right when you walk in my front door, I got so much shit from her hanging this, but this is my favorite uh, rapper of all time. Word? <laughs> For real? <laughs> that's, that's, dude, I got that CD when I was 14 years old. That's the old Dirty Bastard oh, ODB. Bro, that's nobody knows. Uh, that's, the, that's the first album I asked for. I was, I was 14 years old. When I asked for that album, I got it for Christmas. I played that motherfucker until it was uh, see through. I can, you could turn that shit on right now, and I can sing from start to finish, all the everything, the whole damn album. I, that's my that album changed my life. That album made me want to rap. Ugh. And then uh, this, I walked about fifteen miles to the mall to buy that. I don't know if you well you're Goody mob, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Goody mob, dog. Come on, bro. Come yeah. on, dog. So, so I would say uh the most influential albums were those two I just showed you. But all right, let's do my top five. I'm fucking off here. So my favorite five rappers of all time, I gotta go not in any particular order. It will have to be Old Dirty Bastard, Cameron, uh Old Jay Z, like like Blueprint Two, Jay Z, old Kanye, like College Dropout, Kanye, Biggie and Big L. That's six. Ooh, yeah, you got a fire in top five, dog. I, I respect yeah. it. I respect it, bro. That's a rapper's top five. Yeah, definitely, I, I, I would. I would. And I, hey, I when I hear you rap, I can hear like the. I don't know if that's Chicago shit, but I can hear the fucking like. Type of New York fucking shit when you rap some. East Coast. Bro. That's all I grew up yeah. listening to was every Wu Tang album, every fucking uh, Mob Deep. Uh, fuck when Fifty came out yeah. with uh, Get Rich or Die Trying. Trying. I thought Massacre. I thought the Massacre was better than Get Rich or Die Trying. He was on that. I thought it was. He was on that super fucking like like grimy shit on that. I love that shit. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm saying I grew up like in a great time for music because you know Biggie was still alive. Pac, I was I didn't get into Pac till I was older. I never really fucked with him too much. I, I hated, even though he is from the East Coast, he didn't rap, rap like a West Coast rapper. But I just always liked Biggie because he just sounded so cool, you know. Yeah. And um, just like Math Math Man, the way his voice just sounded so it was just dope, you know. But I didn't really get into like the chopped and screwed or South shit too much, um, except for Pimp C, like that motherfucker. Oh, that's hard. That's yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. That's what's but like, up. I would have to stay like, I can name every single. I mean, shit. I remember when the CDs were coming out for DJ Clue and they had Freeway. Oh my god, <laughs> Freeway. <laughs> fucking Beanie. Uh, uh, yeah. Beanie until uh, fucking, fucking Cat, until Cassidy killed his ass in that fucking. Battle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did. He, he did. Cassidy career. was dope. Cassidy yeah. was super dope. Uh, Meek Mill, but that's current. But like. Freeway. When I first heard Freeway, I was like, I could, I could rap. I could do this. I got this. <laughs> this shit was just so wild, and my voice was high pitched. Yeah. My voice is high pitched, like yeah. like Freeway's is. He's got that uh, one for Petey Crack, two for Free. Like this just, I love East Coast rap. Made me want to rap, you know. So, um, so yeah, that would be that would Big L. That shit it was the crazy. I can't put Nas on it because Nas, I would just fall asleep, but I could listen to Nas all day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, his storytelling and like that, 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 that song he did in reverse was super crazy. Uh, just, man, 
East Coast rap was, I think, are the have, has the best rappers that ever lived. Yeah, I think nowadays the West Coast taking it though, bro. They, and they don't sound like they did back in the day. That that West Coast sound, nah, it sounds West, more integrated. West, West Coast got yeah. some monsters, bro. Like it ain't really a lot. Oh, that, yeah, West Coast got some monsters now. Oh, uh, Nipsey was a motherfucker. You know what's sad he's, about he's, Nipsey? He's, he's my favorite rapper. My number one. His, it's his voice. He don't do no overlays, no in and outs. Uh, Nipsey, though, it's so sad because I, 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 I never fuck with the West Coast, nothing on the West Coast. So I didn't find out about Nipsey till he died. So when he did, I brought every motherfucking yeah, album. Yeah. You know what I'm Nipsey, saying? Nipsey got, Nipsey got me through a lot, bro. He's like my like my rapper, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, and yeah. the way he said it with so much heart, you know? He said it with so much, like, like Pac. Pac wasn't very the most lyrical dude, but he said it with so much heart yeah. that you felt it. Nipsey... He was saying conscious shit with heart and like kind of gangster too about it. It's so it was like really motivational music, bro. Motivational yeah. music. Yeah. He made me get my ass up and fucking. Who was I gonna say? Ah, uh, ah, uh, fuck, man. I don't know. I forgot. There was another one that I was gonna say oh, that really was, I, was I crazy. I don't know if you want to tap into this shit, bro. But everybody asking about your casky beef, dog. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. They bro, have beef, bro. bro yeah, man, that shit is low key. It's like the only thing they talking about, bro. Casky beef, casky beef, casky beef. Casky yeah, beef. look, look, man. To have to have beef with someone that that's that he that's like he wants rap beef. When when I think about beef, like I said, I'm from a different era. I'm not thinking about rapping, that, dog. I'm that, thinking, that type of beef don't exist no more, though, bro. That, that, but that's the thing that exists with me, though. Bro, that exists bro. with me, though. Yeah. Like like you want to play on the internet? Look, I'm trying to like. That's just not gangster to me. Like I made a video about it, and that was I shouldn't have did that. I got outside of myself and made a video on the internet, which I should not. I should just kept quiet, but I just kept. He, they just kept pushing little buttons, and, and finally I just came out and, and and made a video just clowning on him. But I would much rather just beat the shit out of him and be overdone with it. You know what I'm saying? Like there ain't this, especially when he's such a lower. Uh, it's nobody know as far as you know. What I'm saying he ain't doing numbers like the numbers I'm doing. It's just not happening. So it's like it's pointless for me to waste my breath on it. Um, but it's just sometimes, like I said, I'm growing, I'm learning. Sometimes I just got to come out and where, and, and, where, and where did all that shit stem from, dog? It was uh, he he did a he did an album with Yellow Wolf. You know, are you familiar with yeah, Yellow Wolf? Yeah, bro, Yellow Wolf is fire as fuck, dog. He's a he's a he's dope, super dope rapper. That, that damn he's probably one of the most slept on rappers. Bro, slept, slept on artists in general, dog. Yes. YouTube put me yes. on him, bro. Yellow Wolf is a bad motherfucker, dog. And yeah, that Yellow Wolf. His, you know what it is? It's his voice and his cadence are so uh, they're nuts. He's they're crazy. A, fire. So he did an album with with Wolf, and uh, you know, in the album or, or on a post he made, he said best rapper since Shady, I want all the smoke. That's cool. I mean, if I grew up, you know, boxing and training my whole life, you want to think that you're the best, right? You don't go in the ring thinking, oh, this dude's going to beat my ass, right? You think, I'm going to kill this dude. So that's good. That's good competition. But then when you post something like that and then someone says, well, what about Upchurch? I'm sure you know who Upchurch is, right? Yeah. So... And then he says, laughing my ass off, and he starts talking shit on his stories and this and that. I'm like, bro, I'm a smoke. You want all the smoke? In my head, I'm not thinking about, oh, you want to make little rap songs together and, and do this? Like, no, I'm thinking, like, dog, I'll come and pick you up by your throat and choke slam you, dog. Like, you're, you, 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 too, fra- your frame ain't big, and you too, li- you too small to be talking like this. Yeah. Now, if you want to rap smoke, okay, we'll go ahead and do that with somebody else. When you're playing with, with, with with me, I'm not I'm I'm talking about I'm thinking all you want all the smoke. I'm thinking about tying people up and you know I got people. You know, it's just crazy. Like it's it, and 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 that's not the era that 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 he's from. He's from the era of oh let's do this on the internet. And I feel so felt so bad even saying anything on the internet because I should just shut the fuck up. But after a while, you know, it's just I gotta say something because this yeah. shit's just te- eating me up inside. When I r- much rather just go and like come on man just get in the room with me and let's let's get it in real quick yeah and and then maybe we find you know and then that's cool we're done that's it it's over 
That's me. Yeah. It's it's faster. It's done faster. Yeah. No, it's not stressful. He, you he, get he, he, he's a bit younger though, right? He, 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 yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's yeah, he's from a different yeah. place. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, we didn't have the internet for twenty fucking years of my life. Like that's what I'm saying. When you take a guy who worked his whole life and was you know in and out of trouble and and, and, and locked up for a little bit and and worked with just hard hat guys, blue collar guys, and you throw me on the internet. And what you expect me to be? I don't know these fucking rules, and like I'm, I'm just gonna say what the fuck I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think that's why I made such an impact on the internet. Yeah. Um, you know, but as far as beef goes, like real beef, there's no fucking, there's no. It, it takes like some little Twitter shit. And then it's it exact. It takes two people. If you want to have beef, it takes two people to want to have to combat in that. Yeah. And there is yeah. no other willing side that wants to actually combat in that you just want to play and write your little songs and i ain't trying to do all that like i'm just wasting my time i'm doing way crazy you're, you're never going to reach the numbers i'm doing you're never going to reach yeah. where, where i'm at with my career you know what i'm saying so um so yeah how did, what the fuck yeah, they, they all wanted to know bro they all, that, that was like the it's because i just made a youtube video about it yeah yeah and 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 you know like i saw it <laughs> i saw it yeah, and it, it, it's like he wanted to call me, so he started calling the guys that we know in, in mutual, and was like, "Yo, look, get, get him on the phone, with me, let me ta- have a conversation." With him. What for? What? Yeah, that's not gangster. Oh, you want to get you get you ain't getting the phone with me and talk? No, let me let me let let's talk. Yeah, and see what happens. Yeah. Now nah, I'm not talking to you on the fucking. You're not my girlfriend, dog. Like what the fuck? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. It's uh, that's just a whole other thing, and and you know what? The best advice I can give him is just to shut the fuck up, like I did for a month, and just watched him and and do his little bullshit, and just shut up because in like twenty four hours it'll be over. Yeah. But then if he throws some more gas on the fire, what happens next is really bad because there's no there's no other there's no way of getting away from that. Now we're not talking about rapping no more. Yeah. You respond to something in, in some kind of way. Okay, cool. It's how much is, uh, you know, hop on a flight and it's like, what's up? What's happening? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, bro. All right, well, I, I, whatever it turns into, we're going to be fucking watching that shit, dog. That's just not, it's not, gonna it's, turn, You know what? It takes two people. And when you have one side that's not willing to engage in that, nothing's going to happen. Like always. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that's a whole other thing. Yeah. Shit, I'm, well, I'm I'm here all for it, dog. <laughs> we all here all for it, shit. I'm hey, I'm I train every day. I'm running my ass every day. I'm old. I'm always trying to stay in shit. I'm always for it. Let's go. <laughs> this is what I'm. I'm built to go. Let's go. You know, fuck the rap shit. Yeah. You all the smoke is all the motherfucking smoke, dog. Yeah, yeah I feel you. I feel you. Man, he. You know what? He's a dope rapper. That motherfucker can rap his ass off. Bro, that that black, <laughs> that black sheep shit was hard. He's a he's a dope rapper. He's just kind of like a lost kid, like a shitty kind of shitty little shitty diaper. You know what I'm saying? It's just you know what I mean. Like he's I don't I don't I don't know him as a person, but just he comes off as a real cocky kind of asshole, and it's like maybe I come off like that too. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Whatever happens, I'm ready for it all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know nothing about nothing, bro. I'm just I'm just here watching the show, dog. Yeah. Me too. It is a fucking show. That's yeah, sad, yeah. ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, uh, I'll let you go do your thing. I want to go through the comments and read. Hopefully, I love you guys. Thank you so much for yeah, tuning yeah. in. Appreciate everybody pulling up, dog. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit you right up when we get off this shit, bro. All right, bro. I don't even know how to get out of this shit, so. <laughs> you got to uh, fucking, uh, fuck. Press disconnect. <laughs> you got, at the bottom, you see a telephone with the X sign to the bottom left. Press that. But make sure you hang up. Because you don't hang up. Oh, I do see it. Yeah, press that. <laughs> All right, I love you guys, man. Take All care. Right, Stevie, it was super good talking. I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, you too, bro. All right.